Good afternoon, and welcome to what I anticipate will be the last virtual press conference we conduct. As we're opening up, I'm looking forward to being able to do this in person very, very soon. For today, I want to focus on illegal fireworks. You know, fireworks are illegal in Los Angeles for good reason. You know, we are at this moment of intense fire risk because of the ongoing drought and fireworks pose a grave threat. Uh, there are always very severe injuries associated with people discharging illegal fireworks and kids taken to emergency rooms. Illegal fireworks and the sudden noise that they make can be triggering events for veterans uh, and for victims of gun violence who have PTSD. Uh, that the fireworks can be awful for families with special needs kids and for pets, the 4th of July is the date when most pets, uh, more pets are uh, lost from houses uh, than any other day of the year. So there are so many good reasons that fireworks are unlawful. Um, our office is taking action. Uh, we have, as you know from last year, uh, pioneered an effort to work with online platforms to get offers for the sale of fireworks off of those platforms. And this year, we've engaged in a very robust effort, in particular with four online platforms, um, with Facebook uh, Marketplace and uh, Craigslist and Five Miles and OfferUp. And what we did was to send cease and desist letters to each of those platforms. Those cease and desist letters made very clear that it is unlawful to sell fireworks or, for that matter, to discharge them here in the city of Los Angeles. And we demanded that those platforms take action to remove any offers of sale of fireworks uh, that could be uh, taken and viewed here in Los Angeles. And each of those platforms has been very cooperative with us. Hundreds and hundreds of offers for sale have been removed from those sites. Uh, and some sites, OfferUp, for example, actually expanded its workforce to work with us to diminish the number of those online sales from its platform. Others worked with their logarithms to change them as we detected problems. They were responsive. And we're optimistic that this effort, while it's not going to eradicate the online sale of fireworks here in Los Angeles, will make a major impact. Um, this effort is, as I mentioned, fundamental to safety here in our city. Um, and I want to underscore a couple of things. First of all, last year at this time, the pandemic was preventing people from celebrating the 4th of July in group settings. And as a result, we think that may have in intensified the use of illegal fireworks on our streets. This year, there are many, many opportunities for Angelinos to experience spectacular Fourth of July events throughout our region. But I want to underscore, too, the point I made earlier about the dangers associated with illegal fireworks. Each year, Fireworks are responsible for thousands and thousands of fires across the United States. And here in Los Angeles, we know that our brush is tinder dry because of the ongoing drought. And from the standpoint of thinking about the community in which you live, as I mentioned, these, the, when fireworks go off, think of the veterans in your neighborhood. Think of others who are susceptible to stress caused by these sudden, unplanned for noises. Kids with special needs are a great example of that. There's no way for them and their families to tune out illegal fireworks. And I mentioned earlier the issue with pets. Uh, there are just so many different reasons for all of us to take seriously the prohibition on the sale and use of fireworks here in Los Angeles. I want to also point out that the LAPD will accept fireworks without any penalty. Um, residents should call 877-ASK-LAPD for guidance as to how to take advantage of that offer. By the way, fireworks that are going off in your neighborhood can be reported to the LAPD, and you can find the link to how to do that on our website, lacityattorney.org. I want to thank very much the team of our lawyers and support staff in our office and our consumer division who have been so vigilant and so successful in working with these online platforms. Supervising Deputy City Attorney Christina Toussaint, 
Deputy City Attorney Carr Tukovsky, Investigator Frank Capatillo, Administrative Coordinator Anna Johnson, Law Clerks Aaron Kuvers and Armin Avanes Agajani. I also want to thank, as always, our colleagues at Channel 35 LA City View for enabling us to get this information out to the public so effectively. Thank you guys very, very much. So, Rob, I'm happy to take any questions about this effort to target the online sale of fireworks and to diminish those offers here in our city. If you haven't already uh, emailed your question, you can do that to me directly at rob.wilcox at lacity.org. We have a couple of questions here already from Brian Rocos, a public safety reporter for the Press Enterprise and Southern California News Group. Where else besides online are fire, fireworks being sold Ill illegally? What's being done to combat those other forms of sale? So I, as far as I understand, the principal uh, uh, locations from which fireworks might be sold in the city are emerging from pop-ups. And LAPD is in the field looking for those pop-up locations and will refer cases to our office if they find individuals selling from brick-and-mortar locations here in the city. What has prompted so much illegal sales of fireworks? You know, during the pandemic, my guess is, and it's only speculation at this point, that people who were cooped up in their homes felt that this was one way to uh, express their, what they've wanted to express for a long time, to be out there and the shooting off of fireworks was, was part of the implications of the pandemic. As I mentioned now, however, with fireworks displays taking place throughout our region, there is no reason to resort to the purchase and discharge illegally of fireworks. And I do want to underscore that it's not just the sale of fireworks that's illegal here. Also, the discharge of fireworks is illegal as well. All right. The next question from Brian is, what type of fireworks are we talking about? Are these the aerial fireworks and ones that move along the ground as opposed to safe and sane and the ones used in public shows? Well, I do, I do want to be very cautious about using terms like safe and sane, even though that is what the fireworks industry has used to describe fireworks that might be sold elsewhere. In Los Angeles, there is no such thing as a safe and sane fireworks display or any use of fireworks here in our city. Um, the, the fireworks we're talking about range. They could be aerial fireworks. We are finding that it could be that from our work with the online platforms that these are fireworks that emanate from foreign countries. All right. Our next question is from Nisha Venkat from KCRW. What are the penalties for violators of the ban? So there are two laws that govern here. One is an L.A. Municipal Code provision. And if you violate by that provision by selling or discharging fireworks in the city, you're vulnerable to a penalty of up to six months in jail and a penalty of up to $1,000. There's also a state law that you'd be violating as well. And that state law carries a penalty of up to a year in county jail and a fine of not more than $1,000. Nisha also asks... Uh, why has enforcement been relatively lax over the past few weeks, seeing as fireworks are still visible, audible in many communities? Well, I can't speak to the strategies that LAPD is employing in the field. I do know that it's often difficult for them to get a report of the discharge of illegal fireworks in a community and then have to arrive at the scene after the event has already occurred. That is what has pushed us to focus on the supply side of this issue and to interrupt the supply chain, particularly from online sellers. You get this combination of LAPD looking for pop-up locations that are illegally selling fireworks here in the city of Los Angeles with our efforts to deal with online sellers and focus on those platforms that have been the source of the most prevalent sales. Uh, that is a strategy that we think will yield results. And we're optimistic about the path moving forward. We're not going to suppress every single illegal use of fireworks in our city. But the combination of having these events be available for all members of the public again with our efforts to suppress, suppress supply could make a big difference. All right. We have a question from Haley Smith, a staff writer with the Los Angeles Times. Residents have been told for years that fireworks are illegal and unsafe but people still set them off anyway. How do you plan to get through to those people, particularly those who don't care about the laws or see them as fun? 
Well, I have to say, I know that the fire department and police and others have been involved in public education campaigns that, Haley, you are well aware of. I want to underscore that's a reason to target the supply because there is always going to be some demand for illegal fireworks here in our community. We know that, as you've said, the public education campaigns have not penetrated every community, every household. Uh, but if we can diminish the availability of illegal fireworks by taking down any offers of illegal fireworks from the platforms that historically have been the major source of those, we can, I think, take some meaningful steps toward reducing all the dangers that are associated with fireworks here. Um, but I would, def I would refer you to our partners in law enforcement and the fire department for any further discussion of their education campaigns. That concludes our questioning for today. Okay. Thank you very much for caring about this really important issue at this time of year. Again, fireworks pose dangers here in Los Angeles, and they also have a dramatic negative effect on the quality of life of residents near whom fireworks are shot off. And we're hoping that our work will help improve both public safety and quality of life for all Angelinos. Enjoy the 4th of July by going to a public event where the professionals can deal with fireworks. Thanks very much.